Hello Vulcanoders! In this video I will show you how you can encrypt your PPK or PEM key pair file. So this is the file that was created when you launched your instance and it was saved on your computer. And you use this file to log into the VM server. So this is just something optional you can do for security. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But why you would want to do this is, is for keeping your key pair file, files more secure and have a backup in case of a hard drive failure. So you don't lose lose that file because it's like a seed phrase for it to your wallet. You don't want anybody to have it because then they'll have the full access to your wallet and they can do whatever they want. So what you want to do first is have yourself a USB stick and like they always say size doesn't matter so it can be any size if you want. The key pair file isn't that big that it should be like 32 gigs or anything like that. So first what you want to do is to connect your USB stick to your computer. Now you can see my USB stick is already here. Now what you want to do is first format. So you can just right click on the name and choose format here. Now I want the file system to be a NTFS and you can label your your US, USB stick whatever you want. I'm just gonna use Vulcan. And it will give this warning that yes, formatting will erase all data on your disk. So if you're sure, just hit OK. And I will just start doing it. The reason I wanted to do this video is I know Nathan B has already done one one video for this in encryption but his process for it is a bit different from mine as I'm using Windows 10 and he was using Windows 11 and I will to use BitLocker And we're going to use the program PuTTY. So now, you can see the USB stick is empty. It's now formatted. So what we want to do now is, is search for the BitLocker. I know in Nathan's video, when he right click here, he got the BitLocker option right here, but I, I don't have it. I have to click the start button and then let's search for BitLocker. So now I have I have an option here for manage BitLocker control panel. I click right here and it will open this for me will show all of my drives here and here is the USB USB stick right here it says BitLocker off I can expand it and here's an option to turn on BitLocker let's click on this
Okay, so now we have uh, two options to unlock this drive. We can use the password and we can use a smart card. The smart card is uh, mainly for laptop users. So we're going to use password. Now you have to write it down over here. Just use something that you can easily remember. Click next. So now we have the options. Three options. I think Nathan had two options. To back up the recover key for the encryption in case that you forget your uh, password. So you have some kind of backup to get back into your USB stick. So you can either print it, save it to a file, or I have this save it to a Microsoft account option. But I'm just gonna save it to a file. You can choose whatever options you like. And I'll just choose my downloads folder. And you can see that it's going to create a txt file for us so I'm just gonna save it so now it's saved in my computer I will just show you how it is yeah so this is the information that was saved in the txt file and you can use this information in case you forget your password for it. Just gonna close that one. I'm gonna hit next. Now it will ask me how much of the drive of the USB, USB stick I want to encrypt. So you can have an option. So it'll just encrypt the used space or you can encrypt the entire drive for this purpose I'm just gonna use encrypt entire drive also it will ask me this uh, encryption mode I want to use so I'm going for the compatible mode. So if if I'm gonna use this in my laptop or any other computer, I can just access it through my uh, password. I'm gonna go on next, and then it will ask me if I'm ready. We'll hit start so now I have this little window <coughs> and starting to say that this and this amount of percent is completed of the encryption so this will take a minute or two I will come back when this is 100%. Okay, so now it says encryption is complete. I have, uh, I think this is 16 gigabytes USB stick and it took me like 20 minutes maybe or so. So now we we'll just click here close and it should now see this That's, yeah you can I don't know if you can see this but it has this little lock symbol on the drive icon so now 
what you want to do is go where your uh, this key pair file is PEM or PPK I just have it in my downloads folder for the purpose of this video and I will copy those and paste it in my USB stick okay now it's there so now when I disconnect my USB stick from my computer you can now see that it's not there now I'm going to reconnect it and it's you can see it in this window but it will give you this this message in the uh, bottom right corner so if you just click it it should then give you this small window where you can enter your your password and when that is done it should open your your USB stick okay so um, next what we we want to do is if you're traveling you already have these ppk files or these key pair files in your computer if you mainly use it at home but if you're uh, traveling a, lo a lot and you want to take this usb stick with you then you can just uh, make the right file path for putty terminal so if we open putty and then we go to our AWS dashboard choose instances from the left column click your instance ID and in the middle you can already see your public IP address so just copy that one then I will paste this here in party I will go to connections SSH auth credentials and this is the box that you specify the file path for your PPK file. So I'm just gonna hit pros. Then on the bottom, I have my USB stick. I choose that one. And I can choose the other one for the right server. Click open. And you can see that it created the file path for my USB stick so if you're traveling and you have a laptop with you you can just stick your USB stick in and then it will automatically read it from there so you don't have to keep it saved in in your laptop okay so I'm gonna just save this as a test I'm gonna save it I can see it it created my test profile here now if I just double click on this test profile it will then ask me for the login and it was Ubuntu and we're in so it worked now i'm going to exit just for this uh, code purpose and i will just reopen putty but now i'm going to disconnect my usb stick so you can see that this won't 
Now let's double click on the test. So now it says unable to use key file. It already says that because my USB stick isn't connected. So if I just type Ubuntu here, nope, it doesn't want to let me in. But let's just close that one, reopen party, and now I'm going to connect my USB stick again. It's going to give me the message to unlock. I click that one and then I enter my password like so. And now it's open and double click on my test profile. You can already see that it isn't giving me the same message that the key pair file wasn't found. So I can just log in now and you can see that it works from my USB stick. So that would be a little ease of use if you travel a lot. Okay, thank you for watching. Live long and prosper.